What are you doing? <laughs> so, now I'm on uh, pretty much episode four um, of my vlog. Uh, quite a few people have asked me an interesting bunch of questions about vlogging. Uh, so I thought I'd just share some kind of perspectives and stuff that I've learned. Um, the first question I got asked was, why am I doing this? Um, and the reason I'm doing it, I suppose, is that twofold. One, I was really interested in vlogging as a format. It feels like a very modern kind of progressive format uh, versus a podcast. And I love podcasts. I know a lot of you probably listen to podcasts, but I think vlogging kind of adds obviously the visual element and kind of the overlays beyond the kind of audio element of a podcast. Uh, so that was the first reason. And the second was um, in wanting to kind of uh, kind of move into a kind of slightly different role uh, than the role I've done in the past. Uh, I wanted to kind of make sure that um, I could create a new network and start to create a different sense of thought leadership that was elevated above media and marketing uh, and very much started to kind of talk about kind of bigger, broader business issues. So uh, hence the reason why I've talked about the future of organisations, the future of leadership um, and obviously in my most recent vlog uh, talked about purpose for a business uh, kind of very much at the top of the business. So that, that, was the, that was the first question I got asked. The second was, where do you find the time to do this? Uh, well, funnily enough, um, it's actually probably about 11 p.m. right now, um, even though the lighting looks quite wonderful. Luckily, we have some good kit. Um, it's actually quite late, um, and I've worked out, well, we've worked out, because um, I'm very fortunate to have my lovely wife that supports me in producing these videos, that we need to do it regularly. We need to do it on the same day so that we can get it edited and we can get it up um, and online on the same day for, for another couple of reasons. One, because it, it helps to teach YouTube as a search engine that regular content is coming. And secondly, because of course, people have an appointment to view things. They always have, um, as they had with TV. So people expect to see that content. So uh, that's, that's, a, that's a reason why kind of we're trying to keep it quite disciplined. But it does mean having to fit it in quite late because we've got a one-year-old and he obviously used to go to bed and we can only do it in, on certain days, edit it when he's at nursery. So we need to fit it around our kind of schedule. But I guess that shows you that anybody can fit it in if you really want to. Um, and you can create regular content. Uh, so tonight, for instance, we're filming a bunch of different things in bulk rather than doing uh, kind of each video individually. So that would be another tip. Um, the other question uh, got asked is kind of how do you get started? Because um, a few people have expressed interest in vlogging, and to be honest, there is no there is no real kind of answer to that, uh, to that other than get yourself a DSLR camera or better, uh, kind of HD quality camera. Um, get yourself a kind of YouTube light and get yourself a decent microphone um, and kind of some backdrops and then just start doing it. Um, you have to feel fairly confident about being in front of camera, but of course you can edit and you can switch things in and out and you don't have to talk for a long time. You can do short form videos. I seem to have uh, the problem of trying to actually kind of cut my videos down rather than elongate them, but you can do short form if you want to. Um, and the other thing that um, I've learned is that and I've learned this from a lot of other YouTubers that you need to create regular content. Um, at the end of the day, YouTube is a video search engine. So it, it kind of thrives and feeds off regular content and content that is kind of focused in specific areas. And when you kind of create things, you need to tag it. You need to pick the right keywords in your kind of description, uh, just like you would if you were putting some kind of content up onto a website for a search engine. Remember, YouTube's uh, kind of owned by Google um, and therefore it kind of operates uh, increasingly like a search engine, but a search engine for video. So. They were just a few kind of tips and thoughts that I thought I would share. Um, I'm by no means a kind of professional vlogger. Um, I'm an amateur uh, and I've only just got started at this. Um, but I've also learned that whilst most of my videos are designed to have quite a kind of in-depth, kind of meaty, quite serious topic, there also needs to be a bit more kind of fun and engaging kind of more vlogger type content. And I'm hoping that this kind of video kind of achieves that gives you tips and people love tips on kind of YouTube, but also kind of tells you a bit more about me and you get to know kind of why I've done things. So I'd love to know if you think that's actually kind of interesting and whether anyone's gonna watch it or whether you prefer the other video. So 
Remember in the comments below to actually kind of give me your thoughts. And if you do like it, then please give it a thumbs up because if it gets a lot of thumbs up, then I'll start doing a few more of these type videos that are a bit shorter and a bit more functional around how you maybe can start to think about kind of vlogging yourself and get to know me a bit better. Thank you very much for Hampton Out.